you know, the beautiful thing about Nepal is it's so, so diverse. The people, the culture, the friendliness. It's rugged, it's rough, but it's also green. To the serenity of the Kumbu Valley and the trek up to Everest Base Camp. You'll never see that diversity in such a small country anywhere in the world. I was on Everest this spring. Everything went awry on the 25th. A huge avalanche came down and took out about half of base camp, killing 18 people. And so we spent the next two days, everything from trying to save lives to rescuing our climbers off the mountain, flying the injured to medical assistance in Kathmandu. All of a sudden, as I reached for the zipper of the tent, the whole tent just shot up into the air about eight or nine inches, hovered there for a few seconds, and then dropped back down. And then the whole glacier just started to bounce vertically up and down. I was in Nepal to climb Mount Everest in the spring of 2015, and we were up at Camp One, and woke up around 11.30, and then I heard a big noise starting at about 11.56 a.m. As soon as it calmed down, and all the powder blasts from the avalanche had stopped swirling around our tents, I thought, I've got to tell my family, I've got to let them know that I survived. I was able to get a message to my wife within about 30 or 40 minutes after the earthquake, which was a huge advantage because she works nights, and my message arrived on her phone, and when she woke up in the morning, there were hundreds of messages from people asking if I was okay, had I survived the earthquake, but instead she knew that I was okay, and so she was able to stay calmer and, and get some messages out to those people that I was okay at the moment. That was a huge advantage of having the inReach. When we got back down to base camp, I was able to loan it to the doctors that had done a tremendously good job of doing triage. So as time went on and as the disaster unfolded, I found more and more uses for the inReach. I was able to use it to answer logistical questions and then even start talking to the media to share with them what I experienced at Camp One. So it's almost like the, the more that it unfolded, the more uses I found for it and uh, the more valuable it became to me on the trip. My name's David, and I work for Samaritan's Purse as the Global Security Manager. One of the places we launched to was after the earthquake this year that took place in Nepal. Really been hit by the landslides, the houses have been devastated. Uh, no cell service up there, uh, uh, sat phones didn't work. Uh, this is one of the reasons why uh, the DeLorme inReach really became a very useful device right after the earthquake. But with the inReach tracker, they were able to check in. When we got the check-in from them, we realized <sighs> they're okay, nobody was injured. We were able to go back and forth and uh, get a Latin long fix to see where they were and then be able to uh, plot out where the helicopter could actually go. And you know, the devices we had, we had about 20 in use, really played an important role that day just calming to know that we could communicate with them and that they were okay. Well, when a disaster hits, I think at the first moment you need to be really aware of what's going on around you. And then as things start to calm down, having a communication device like the dorm really helps work out a plan to take care of yourself, your community, and even strangers that you meet along the way. And then the idea is to try and look at that disaster and ask yourself, what have I learned about this? How can I be a better traveler, a better person, a better adventurer? and be better prepared for next time something goes wrong.